Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, you've got the one and only myself, Pav. I know you wanted me, so I'm back. But joining me, the man, the myth, the legend, Ash. How are you doing? I am very good, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Happy days. Yeah, got a few bits to look at today. An exciting game to go over from, uh, is it last week's tournament? Yes. Yeah, it's been about a week. So, um, <laughs> Actually, believe it or not, we are looking at Team Synergy. Might be a familiar team to you, I believe. I am aware. Versus Sorry. Team No. That's it. Going to go through a series of seven games. Indeed, indeed. Uh, first game, as you can see on the top of the screen, is a 3v3 standard game. Uh, second game is a scale one game. Mm -hmm. So um, your, your, your second sat, your green colour, your yep. size of your bullets have to be a very small and one scale. Really testing uh, accuracy there, though. It does. It does. It's, it's, it's actually it's a really fun game to play. I love it. I love it. Okay. Uh, third game, we'll push it into a 2v2. Standard game. Sta any stats, do what you want. doesn't really matter. Nice. Any two players. Um, game four, we'll push into uh, shields. Nice. Uh, or eight shields. You must spend a minimum of eight points on shields. Okay. You each already have one anyway, so you just need to spend five more um, in any way, shape, or form. It's up to you. Uh, next game, we'll move on to a one versus one. One v one could be any player on your team it doesn't really matter it doesn't have to be the one player that didn't play the 2v2 it could be anything um then we'll move on to game six which is eight points in total that's a hard game to play because usually you would get six points to spend each giving you 18 in total you mm -hmm. can only have eight in total across your team ah. so that's a really hard game to play um and then we'll push into game number seven it'll just be a standard 3v3 standard game do what you want any stats winner takes all basically there you go. You heard it here. Um, let's uh, get into it then and let's, uh, let's push kick off with the first game. Yeah, man. So interesting stats there, I see. Okay. Mm, four speed across all of them. So we got uh, Synergy on the red, Team on the blue. And straight off it. It looks like, I mean, from what I can see here, Team No looks very defensive on the back wall. Shumai straight away going straight forward as he does with yourself there on the left. Playing that 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 kind of low game, if you like, I've seen you do that in a few games. Like you like to kind of you always end up going straight low, and kind of picking your shots there. Um, once again, Team No just seem to be sticking to that back wall from what I can see here. They they are just it's almost like playing a defensive game, um, but seems to be working for them. Um, so yeah, um, Neha is now stepping forward, which is actually really. Interesting because I always see on the back one playing defensive game, so for her to be on the front. Um, I mean, what were you guys kind of, what were you guys thinking against Team Now? What were your game, were your game plan if you like? Uh, just win the game. Literally, win. just straight up win. <laughs> there you go, just win 100%. the game. <laughs> no, it's good. It's, it's good that the you know we're pushing forward. Team No sort of on the back wall. Um, yeah. They did pull it down to a three-three, but we've just sort of taken off again. Um, okay. It's coming down to what eight-four at the moment. It's pretty good. Um, I mean, myself I, I can see the, the format. I mean, right there, Team No are actually just going for it. That last few seconds, they just decided, actually, you know what, we're going to go for it. And if they'd done that throughout the start of the game, maybe it could have changed the, game, the course of the game. Yeah. But um, it was interesting, though. They play really defensive, and from what I've seen of Team No before, they do normally just go for it. So that was um, an interesting tactic from them there. That's not bad. 37, 37 shots out of... Uh, Player number three on two charge. That's that's, not, that's mm. to be to be expected. Um, oh yeah. Okay. But yeah, Shemai, Shemai coming forward there right at the start. We all, we always one of us from 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 Team Synergy. We always try and one of us push forward when we can, yeah. just to sort of create a bit of a tension. Look at me, sort of thing, which takes a little bit of pressure off the other two players mm -hmm. um, to yeah. be able to get the kills. Hopefully, in this game, Neha. Um, <laughs> so hopefully, she's like managed to get a few kills, which is uh, really really good. I see your formation. You always kind of have that same formation. It's almost like a B formation. Uh, we did with it. We've got a few different formations as well. Uh, but this definitely used would use with one of them. Um, especially you'll notice with this game, we didn't do too many cross shots because they yeah. weren't needed. Uh, yes, they're bringing it to five four at the moment. Um, but we're we're calm and collected. You can see myself on the front line. She might be in mm -hmm. fairly forward as well. And even Neha stepping forward off that back wall just yeah. shows how comfortable. Uh, you know, it's the, almost the like red team are at the moment. All three of you actually going for an all-attack all game, if you like. 
Yeah, I think um, five, or or five out of six of us did have speed four. So uh, oh, not, okay. not too fast, but you know, fairly fast bullets, which is good. Nice straight yeah. shootout game. It's, it's, it's once again, from Timo, it's a very defensive game. They're really kind of up against that back wall. And yeah. it's almost like it's they just wanted to kind of really, in some sense, park the bus, if you like. Of course. And let's just play it safe. Um, so maybe, f- from obviously what I can see, is they're playing that safe game to start off the, start off the round of the tournament. They should have uh, attacked a little bit harder. Uh-huh. But let's see what they can do with uh, game number two. Yeah. We're moving on to scale one. Five, threes, two speeds. All right, that's not too bad. Off again, once again. Both teams starting off very defensive. Both on the back wall there. But once again, this is um, of the smaller scales. So maybe, I mean, from kind of first hand experience playing in this game, obviously having obviously smaller scale bullets, is, is, is it easier to stay on the back wall? Um, yes, it is, 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 is easy to stay on the back wall, um, especially okay. with scale one, easier mm-hmm. to dodge and that sort of stuff, especially now you've got Team No with five shields as well. Yep. Um, I believe that would have probably been my job to get those shields down to okay. create the you know the space for Shemai Neha to come through and get those kills. Um, Team No really holding their own with those shields, mm-hmm. uh, doing really, really well. Neha's playing a really aggressive game from, from um, obviously what I'm looking at here. She's, she's really kind of She's almost the first game. She was very defensive, trying to pick her shots here. She's really kind of almost like almost a kind of an assassin kind of of uh, position here. It's like obviously staying on the back wall, hence, but she's still really going for those shots. I'm seeing a lot of shots coming up from her there. Nice um, shield coming up from from Team No. They're pushing forward, getting a second and a third point. Oh, that's really good. Um, and I see you, once again there. You had that whole V formation, but you've almost kind of the V formation come back to back wall. Um, so yeah, it seemed there was a very defensive game from from um, from my perspective. Yes. Um, obviously, knowing how you guys play, that was a very defensive tactic. But also at the same time, from Neha, it was a bit more aggressive than normal. So it's a bit of a weird one. Um, but once again, Team No playing it safe again for me personally there, um, mm. which is it, it's I know they've got the kind of the, the skill set and the ability to go a bit more. So it's a bit. For me, I want to see more of that from them because I know those guys can really go for it. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I like as I certainly just said, I like, like the scale one games. That's a really good fun game to, yeah. to play. I managed to get eighty five bullets off, which is eighty five bullets. That's all right. It'll do. Um, but yeah, team no going with shields in a scale one game. Um, potentially not the best idea because you can't spend any money in sp- any money. You can't spend any <laughs> okay. any points in scale. Um, <laughs> So you've got to spend them on, on, on speed or charge. You don't yeah. really spend them on shields. So trying a shield tactic was quite clever. It's, a, it's something different mm-hmm. that we don't come up against. But because m- we've got a lot more points in charge now, yeah. your shields aren't going to last very long. And they didn't really utilize them as best as they should have done. However, I really do admire um, them trying that tactic. It's really, really good. Yeah, interesting tactic. Um, like, like you said, it's not a tactic that does get used in a scale one. Uh, but... It was interesting for them to try, and obviously on this occasion it didn't work for them, but you never know, it, it yeah. on a different occasion it might turn out different, but like I said, it, it's something they've tried, and maybe obviously they they had a, a set kind of game plan about that, but um, yeah, so still got some more games, let's see what happens for the rest of the round. 100%, so we're going to be pushing into game number three, a 2v2, I believe... It is myself and Neha and who we got in that? Uh, is it Kieran and Alfie? I think. I believe so. Uh, interesting. So they a bit more spread apart than yourselves there. Yeah? You and Neha seem very close together, whereas they've kind of gone edge to edge almost, yep. and then bringing it back in. Um, both it's, it's a slower game than normal, but I suppose in a two-on-two game, it's about really kind of picking your shots and. Playing very tactical. I can see you guys taking two nil leads, three nil, three nil leads halfway through. Um, but yeah, it's um, a very kind of almost a pick our shots kind of game. And once again, Neha's playing a bit more aggressive than normal. I've really kind of seen she's finding her feet a bit more with kind of attacking. She was always known as that kind of defensive player of synergy. Um, but from the last tournament and this tournament as well. She's really kind of found her almost aggressive side, if that makes sense. She's, she's not aggressive she's, she's been a lot more, more aggressive, yeah. Yeah, aggressive side. She stepped it up, which is good. But yeah, um, yeah, team team no 
you're coming down to this point, you want to you wanna be able to be able to mm-hmm. push forward. They should have been coming forward, getting a few yeah. key shots off, communicating with the, with, the, with the other, with each other. The shield placement as well, for me, hasn't been I the most that. tactical. It's yeah. just like, right, let's just get a shield up here. They could have really got to that front corner, got that shield up at that angle they needed to, and really utilised that. But for me, it was just right, let's just get up here and try and fire a few shots through. Um, if they had maybe thought about, right, where can we place this shield? Can we get it at a better positioning and utilise it a bit better? Mm-hmm. Maybe we can get a few more points on it. Um, but like I said, it, it's in the midst of the game and obviously they were down. They probably thought, let's just go over here and let's just see if we can get a few shots in. Um, but yeah, it's interesting game. Interesting gameplay from them. Um, so yeah, I am really kind of intrigued to see what else they do in this tournament because like I said, for me, it's, it's not the team though that I'm used to seeing. They're normally a bit more aggressive than this, and they're really playing a defensive game. Um, they were a little bit defensive in that, though. Where um, they could they could have pushed forward, they should have pushed forward a lot, um, and co- you know they they could have easily pushed a lot further forward, been a bit more aggressive, taken a few extra points. Mm-hmm. Um, it's always interesting when you see the kind of the teams like Team No and yourself playing. Obviously, you do some you guys do train together at times, so. It's interesting to see if they've taken note of some of your tactics or even tried to replicate some of your gameplay. Of course, um, I have you noticed should. that with some of the other teams that they have tried to replicate certain gameplay. Um, but it's great to see that. One it is really great to see that. I know, I know, you're, I know you're bigging up Nehar, but I'm going to drop it down a peg. 2-2 two, two for Nehar. Two kills, two deaths. Oh, Nehar, you step up a bit there. You've got to step up just, just a little that? bit. <laughs> No, it's just it's good to see a different side of her. Of course, um, of course. So, and obviously we know her as a defensive player for Synergy, but like I said, it's good to see that aggressive side of her. Um, but I believe we're now going to the next game, which we are going to push it. into our Shields game. So I know with the Shields game, normally that isn't really kind of you and Shamai, it's more Neha uh, there. So but both, be both teams see what goes on here. Okay, so... Nehar putting out that first shield, it's really, really good. Ah, so double stacking that shield. Double shield tactic there, I like it. So talk to me about the kind of the game plan you had here with kind of the shields. What were you guys thinking? Well, Shamai stacking the shields on the on the left hand side, um, yeah. protecting Nehar, m- making Nehar being able to come forward. But then you've got myself on the left hand side just chipping away. Um, we've got that a significant lead. Team No yeah. do need to put shields up. They do need to push yeah. forward. Once again, they're on that back wall. Or if they can really get forward, put up that shield that and was nice move forward. Shield. That, was a, that was a great shield there. And again, another one in the middle. Once again, the positioning could be better. Um, it could be right around the back wall, need to move forward, and they just seem to kind of just point it up wherever they need to. They can really get to that front line and really put, put a shield up at an angle. I know they can really get some great shots off. Um, but like I said, it, it, it's only 7-3, so they can still bring this back. Um, great shield placing there from uh, from Team Synergy. Doubling up those shields at an angle. I like the double and shield that yeah. Team No just had as well. They still that got two shields up. Oh, nice little tricky kill at See, the do you end. Eight like three. As soon as they got that shield up at the front, they seemed a bit more um, they seemed a bit more confident and aggressive. Yes. It, it's just as soon as they can get to that front line, I know they can really do it. It's just them getting to that front line. Um, but yeah, I still I th- look. I, I know. Obviously, I've been. Saying a lot of positive stuff about Synergy, but look, I still got a lot of love for Team No as well. These guys are absolutely killing it and absolutely smashing what they're doing. And this is what I mean like, they're just playing more of a defensive round this time. But I know when I see these guys play like an, an offensive kind of more attacking, they do a great job. Um, and I know they've got a lot more to come in this tournament as well. Of course, of course. Doing, doing really, really well. I think uh, they managed to shoot the most shots 57 bullets. On five charge, getting our shields down, which was really, yeah. really good. Um, but they've got, you'll notice as well with our team, we're sort of swapped sides on the court in this game. Mm-hmm. Um, and Team No did a little bit, but you can see them bunching up there um, on, on, on the right hand side of the screen. Yeah. They've got to spread out a little bit. Yeah, but they, they did well. They did, I mean, it is a, it's an odd one because you've got more space on the court, but I suppose at times you find players come together more rather than utilizing that space of going wide. Yes, and splitting it down the middle. So, yeah, it's, it's always an odd one to see because it is a common thing that I find with two on twos. You'd expect people to go bang right side, so you take left, I take right, but you weirdly come together a bit more. Um, but it, it, it's it's one of those. It's uh, 
it happens, but I suppose it's tactical as well at times. Hundred percent. No, it's absolutely really, really good gameplay by Team Nash. Okay, so the next game is that the the one v one. One who have you I chosen? think it's Shemayan Kieran. I'm oh, almost sure it is. Yes. Shemayan Straff with the first shot. On um, once again, Shemayan's that right hand side. He loves that right hand side. Shemayan being really aggressive. Yes, Kieran taking out the three of those large markers on. Kieran's uh, doing really well Shemayan. there, picking these shots. Clever. They're are so close there. I thought he had Shemayan. Then you know. You're playing a really good game there, Kieran. Both down to one life marker. It's down to Shamai nice. getting the first point. First point off with Shamai. But Kieran's still holding out there. He's still he's still ducking and diving. Some good some good shots off there. Some really fast really fast shots off there by Kieran. Some cross shots. Some great movement there by Shamai. Just going for that aggressive front again, right to the front of that court. He's picking his corners. He's pushing. Shamai's pushed Kieran into that corner. Kieran needs yes. to come forward out of that corner. He's push forward a little bit harder. You he almost shot had Shumai, he'd get the kill. He almost had it in that corner, but I think Shamai's got aggressive back on him. Was pushed him back to that defensive on the back wall. They've both got 4-3-2-1. They've both got the same stats. Kieran has the capacity yeah. and capability to get that one on Shamai. Just double shot and take him out nice and easy. You've got to push forward, Kieran. He's, he's really trying to get forward there. And Shamai really pushed him back into that corner. He really likes to get people into yes, the corners, Kieran. and there you go. He, he's got him there. He, he almost, if it was a bit longer, he could, probably could have got Shemai. He had Shemai where he won in that corner. He yeah. almost turned the tables on him, and that was really good to see. That, you know what, I'm going to, you, you've been doing it to me, now it's my turn. 100%. Shemai, how'd you like to be in the corner? 100%. Kieran, well yeah. done for pushing forward. Nobody making, puts uh, Kieran in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> 100%. No, that's really good. But yeah, you know, coming back to this, they both got the same stats 4 3 2 mm -hmm. 1. Um, you know, they're both shooting over 30 bullets, both got some good accuracy, um, both got similar movement as well, just taking a look at the back end stats of the game there. Yeah. Um, but again, Shamai taking a 2-0 lead. Yeah, I mean, he, Kieran, like I say, started off on that back wall defensively, but he tried to push forward and he was pushing forward. And as you said, near the end of the game, he really got his come, come forward onto that front line and really pushed Shamai into the corner. If only he'd done that a bit earlier on in the game, or had a bit long on the clock, I really think he would have really got some points on the on the board there. He, he, you need to. It's at this point, as soon as you go 1-0 down, mm -hmm. you need to be on that front line. You have to get that yeah. equalised points. So you both should be on 1-1 one, one or 0-0 nil, nil or 2-2, two, two, whatever mm -hmm. it is. You both need equalising points because for you to get the win, yep. you have to get two points. Yeah, for sure, 100%. So Kieran's on that back foot. You've got to get that equalising point. You're now 2-0 down. You've got to get three points. Three points in 13 seconds. What was your thinking as a hard. team, by the way, to get Shumai on as a one-on-one -on -one, rather than yourself or Neha? Uh, we all decided to have... Um, it's, it's always the original deciding uh, factor that we all do a 1v1 okay. between different teams and stuff, just so we all get that different practice and stuff, and Shumai was just the one to step up and say, I'll take this game. Fair enough. Sounds good. Right, Thanks. we're moving into eight total. Eight totals are really, really hard game to play because mm. there's not many points available. Straight However, with a shield there by Team Now. Yes. Straight with a shield. You can see the, the the tempo of the game changes drastically when um, you've got obviously eight points. Um, you have to utilize them carefully, and like I said it, it's almost like a slower tempo game. So really focusing on accuracy and really picking your shots. And um, you guys taking a one 0 lead there, so send you with a one 0 lead. Um, but like I said, this this game. Oh, one one. Team Now bringing it back what we'd like to see. You've got myself on that front line, sort of creating that look at me, look at me tactic. Yeah. Creating the, the giving the capacity, sorry, to Nehar, who is the attacking player in this game, to be able to get the kills, and it's working. So I see that, so you've almost created that distraction of the, I'm going to be the attacker, I'm the assassin, I'm on the front line, but really, Nehar's almost that sniper position at the back and that picking those shots. Yeah. Good, um, good shield choice by, um, yeah. by Team No, stacking up a couple of shields. Team Now have really spaced out in this game, and I like that. They've really got their, their sides of the court, so we've got obviously the guys spread out there, and it, and it was working for them. Like They're doing the right things there. Just really pick those shots a bit more. There yes. we go. Great shot there on Shamai. Well done, Team No. Bringing it back. That's what we like to see. Four, five, five seconds left. So close. Even though it's my oh, team, they're, they're, I want Team They're no really to aggressive now, <laughs> Shamai. Oh. Yes. That was, that was really you know, it was a really good game by them. Um, like I said, it's, it's a different game. It is a, obviously, slower pace, but it's really on, really testing your accuracy and really making pick those shots. It really um, does. And down to the tactics. 
captains play a massive part in obviously eight points. Hundred percent. You know, five five kills out of I believe Nehar. It's not bad. Well done. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. Uh, just taking a look at the stats at the back end of the game. Zero zero and player number four. That's that's all right. You okay, know, you don't want to okay. be minus. Yeah. Which is really good. Two three on the other two, which is really really good. Well done. They really brought it back. Um, in, in terms yeah. of fashion, to be fair. They That's really well there. You know, the pu I push up to the front line, um, mm -hmm. trying to create a bit of a distraction. So hopefully Nahar will be able to get a few key points, which yeah. he does. But they do take us out as well, so they sort of pull yeah. it back a little bit. Um, but it's really good. We stay calm and collective. They seem very confident in that game from what I've seen there. I, I've seen kind of almost like the, the team now that we all know coming out there. Oh, yes. Um, they seem very confident and almost like they were trying to really lead that game. Yeah. Um, and almost like lead the way as in they were trying to get it to their pace and get you guys to pay, play at their pace and it almost happened that's what you want to do you so want to yeah. you want to dictate the game of who moves yeah. where and what's you know their positions if they're in if there's somebody in a place that you don't want to be in mm -hmm. force them yeah. out of it push them to be somewhere so that you can create uh, your attacking player to be able to get them which is exactly what my job is to do is to push push their attacker or their easy players mm -hmm. into a position where I know my attacker can get their kill and that's exactly what yeah. you know that's what we do. But that awesome. was really, really good. Yeah, really good game there. On to the next game. We're going to push into the final game. Shields by Team No. Yes. They're, they're really going to try and play that almost safe game of let's get these shields up and let's see what we can get on these guys. Straight away, shield up. Stingy taking the lead with a 1-0 lead there. 2-0 lead even, sorry. Once again, it, it's not as aggressive as, as I expect it to be. It's almost like a slower paced game than normal. However... Once again, accuracy is really coming into play with it. The guys are really, Team No Reavers are really picking their shields. Better shield placement there. That's a lot better. That's what we like to see there. Really focusing, really making sure that, okay, you know what? We'll put our shields up. Let's get these guys focusing on getting our shields down while they're assassinating some folks on the other players there. Once again, the player on the left here on, on his third shield. Doubling up shield there. That was a great play there. So not far behind. So really... 4-4, four, four, there you go. Bring it straight back. Team No really putting the pressure on you guys, and this is what we like to see. Just when you thought we were playing it safe on a defensive game, these guys are really going for it now. 6-4. Synergy really trying to play in a, a bit of an attacking game here, but Team No wants to get another shield up. They're almost playing almost like a hybrid game. They're really going with their shields, but at the same time, they've got their assassins on the far side of the court really going for it. And what? Oh, I actually thought they were going to have it then. 7-7, seven, seven, you guys got that last point. But I actually thought Team No were going to take you guys. Sorry. <laughs> they, they should, they should. Honestly, <laughs> that was so good. So I was just watching that game. I was just listening. And um, what I noticed, I think you've got Lucas on uh, Team No, who went 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one, so he yeah. has to hit his shots. Yeah. And we'll notice that when these shields come up, he's not getting right behind those shields. He's still yeah. a bit too far back. Which means it allows the player on the on the on the far side of the court to sort of chip in yeah. and take him away. Um, so he should those shields got to be a bit, mm -hmm. little bit further forward. And Lucas, you've got to get forward behind those shields. I think you would have got a few extra kills. Yeah, I think we've, we've kind of team though. They really try to get their shield game up. Um, however, if if they can get those shields right to the front of the court, we we'll just angle them a bit better yeah. and utilize them to what they need to. I know they can get a lot more points off that, but. It was good to see them utilising more shields. 100%. Because they always do try and go a bit more aggressive and try to play more of a kind of, more of an offensive kind of game. So it was good to see them kind of play a bit more of a, right, let's focus on getting these shields up against these guys and picking our shots. Of course. Um, it's, if they can just really get those shields in the right places, they can do some serious stuff. There was a point, and I think it's right now, that shield. Yep was meant to be for me to get down. And I can remember Nahar going, get the shield down, get the shield down. And I'm like, where's the shield? And at this <laughs> point, I look across and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll put a few shots <laughs> in it. And I was just way too late because uh, it just needed communication on that shield because I yeah. was that tunnel visioned on that left player yeah. um, that it could have ended badly. Um, but very well done, team, though. Yeah, Happy I days. suppose that's the obviously the key as well with, 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 with Haddo in general. Communication is key with your team because, yes, okay, the court is not a massive court however when you're in the midst of the game if you're not talking to each other across court you might not see little things like that like you said you didn't really see that shield correct they I need that communication so it's making sure that you guys are on that kind of that right level communicating correctly just making sure that you guys are doing the right things you need to and seeing the right things to get those shots off and obviously 
take the game. Yeah. Well done, team. No. Yeah. Well yeah. done, team. No. They, they did. They did great. So I think uh, definitely ones to watch out for the future. Um, so yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, that's thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to press the buttons and all the things. You know we'll see you soon. Do. Like, subscribe, subscribe, and um, yeah, because you know you want to see more of us.